Hi, Mom. I just wanted to show you the finished shabby chic sewing room. I think it just turned out so cute. Well, I'm playing in my sewing room. The floors just look so great. It was it's going to be so fun to decorate. It is just super nice to have it all clean and organized and the floors are done. Thank you so much. I love my ironing board. It is just the cutest thing. It just fits right into the Let me know what you think of my new sewing room. My angels, you're always with me. My special angels from Italy. This really gave me the opportunity to organize, to put everything together, to clean everything. But I love my little thimbles. Oh, I love this one. So fortunate to have so many people in my life that have given me so many special things. You know, and that's what this room really represents. It's a Roxanne thimble. Thank you, Julie. I just love this thimble. It's so pretty, and look at this. So nice. So many people have given me so many lovely things, and I just. Thank you, Mary, for my little scissors. It's a piece of beading. And this just is all the stuff that I've collected throughout the years. But I think I have it really organized and I very have practical. my rulers all here. Anything that my acrylic rulers, my mats. Back here, I have more. calculators, pads, pencils, that kind of stuff that's close so that when I do quilt, it's practical storage hand. for cards and such. But then I've kind of intermixed it with really special pieces of my son's godmother's jewelry. That really makes it special. I have all my pins together so I think I've really got it organized so that I know if I need something if I need pins here's some snaps pins 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 different kinds of pins different kinds of folders that I know where to go to I really like how the clock turned out. I have videos on this channel like pretty much for all the projects if you want to know how to shabby chic. Oh and mom, the balance turned out great and I didn't have to recut it. I thought I measured wrong but it's fine. And mom, thanks for my trash can. I love Crazy Patch. It was perfect right here on my beautiful new floors. Look at that. And one of the ways that I try to organize fabric is by color. So I just kind of have all my pinks right here. And I have so many lovely things that people have made me throughout the years that I just can't throw away. 
can't put away. So I think this is a really lovely tribute to the people in my life that have loved me, love me, <laughs> and have made me some awesome things. I love the things that people make me. And thank you, Patty, for all the cards and beadwork that you have made me through the years. You are card maker extraordinaire. Look at the beads you do. Mimi, thank you. And I love the way this is displayed, so I can kind of mix my fabric in with, with uh, stuff that I might need someday, kind of tucked in there. Thank you, Julie, for all the embroidered tea towels that you've made me through the years. Just love them. But it's a lot of stuff packed in a very small space. It looks nice there. All my hoops, my embroidery hoops. So I think it turned out super cute. Got all of my teacups given to me by Mary Ann. These, a lot of them were from um, my husband's grandmother, so they're very special. Love this one. And I've kind of started collecting these little dimmy cups. I thought that they would really look good over here. This is a hutch that I shabby shaped. And it really does store some fabric. I was concerned about how much, but I think I've got everything in here. The rule to this remodel project was it had to have a space, it had to find a place, or it had to go. I've got all my ribbons together, all my hummingbird stuff I kind of try to put together. Thank you, Mom. I love you. And these are some of the little things that I've collected. My moonstones. Again, people have given me just the cutest things. Thank you, Julie. Look at that, isn't that so cute? That's so cute. And very special pieces. That's from my son's godmother, Margie. Hi, Margie. But this was a mirror that I shabby chiced. The mirror actually got broken. But I just thought that turned out cute. Just a pen holder. So it's all organized and all clean. I thought you'd enjoy seeing it before it gets all messy <laughs> because it's going to get messy. I plan on doing a lot of really fun projects this year and my hope is that I get to a point where I can donate 
some blankets to St. Jude's Children Hospital. That's my goal. So I have tons and tons of fabric from other projects and I've just put them in clear bags so that I could see them and they're just kind of stashed back here. It's the only thing that I could come up with for some type of fabric organization. And another way to organize your fabric, is I bought a bunch of these dish racks at the 99 cent store, dollar store, and it's really worked out really well that I can roll my fabric up, kind of stick them in there, lots of them, um, and it keeps it organized, neat. I put it in different colors so that I know if I need a little bit of one color for something, a project I'm working on, I know where to go these individual racks of fabric and it just goes on and on if you know of anything to do any projects with leftover fabric I surely would appreciate it because I have tons of it green blues you name it but it really does help to have it organized so that's my tip of the day for organizing It's my happy place. Clean happy place. With new floors. I just love them. Happy feet, happy feet.